It has been a long journey. We return with more of Mega Man X8. Last time we tackled the last three levels, Pitch Black, Primrose, and Troya Base. And speaking of Troya Base, I tried. I tried to get like a perfect run. The only reason why is because unless you're more prepared with having better chips and abilities, you're not going to be able to get everything. Trust me. And if you wonder why it's a 65%, I took a little time to do a little grind off screen. I only got one of the three. If you guys want to see me try to get the other two, let me know. Anyway, after a lot of grinding, which I thankfully did thanks to the central white intermission here, I, we're now going to finally reach Jacob. Reach the satellite using the elevator and find Sigma. And our team has been chosen. X in the Icarus armor. And Zero, Class A Hunter. Alia, let's go. I'll handle it. Ready. The orbital elevator is used to transport equipment into space. Good luck out there. Thanks, Elia. And you'll also notice that my health is now a lot higher. Same for Zero as well. Because by this point, I had to grind so much today. It's not funny. It took me actually about an hour since the intermission minigame lasted roughly about a minute. Lastly, run about two, three, about a minute and a half. And I was able to get like over 2,000 up to 3,000 medals. It made my work easier. Not only made my work easier, but I can be able to get stuff done a lot faster. And like that. Now you wonder why I'm that good. Then yeah, Zero now has his complete 5-hit saber combo. Also, weird fact. Yup, Zero can do sure you can. And if he stands there, he does hurricane kick motions. Got to stand. Yeah, basically Zero becomes a street fighter. And our journey to reach the end will not be an easy one. It never is. And thankfully now Zero is armed with better gear. And now he can be able to be just as strong. Yeah, because all, aside from X, I believe, Zero and Axel don't have anything that can boost their defenses. And also now he can no longer get knocked back. Which to me is a lifesaver. Okay, you want to do that? Fine, shoot him with a full powered blast. This isn't working. Okay, now it's working. Knew that it would have to help. And out of all three members I should mention, X is the only one at 100%. All that grinding paid off, and if you get X at 100%, when you start New Game Plus, you can get the ultimate armor for him. But if you guys want, I can show that off in, the few, in an extra video. Fine, gig attack. I'll just wipe them all out. That makes it easier. Do 
You'll be reaching the top shortly. Be ready for anything. As if I'm already set. Never thought we'd be heading to outer space. Warning. <laughs> You're struggling awfully hard for a world that's doomed. So, it was Sigma pulling the strings the whole time, wasn't it, Vile? <laughs> you finally piece it together, X? The orbital elevator, the energy, the space minerals, the rocket data, the route to space. The thing that's allowed this world to survive this long is ours. I don't care what you plan to do. I'll put a stop to it no matter what. And now we finally get to face off against Vile. I can never understand what Vile's beef with us is. And yet the fact of the matter is, X Vile would normally not be taking sides. Because in his mind, he wants to change the world, and he wants to do so in his own way. Really? I should have actually packed Hermes' armor for this, because his dash gives him invulnerability. All that landing and you can't even control that. What a shame. Yeah, he's on and dangerous, that's for sure. Hopefully this should pretty much finish him off. I'm taking no chances with this. See what I mean? What I tell you. Knew all that grinding paid off. Got through it as if it was my own backyard. And the best part about this is that I'm already prepared. I have everything I need. Except for that. Alright, let's continue. Vile. Sigma. Just like old times. Zero? Does it remind you of the virus? So, you heard about that? He tried to use me to destroy the world. That's why I've got to find him and turn him into a pile of molten scrap. Be my navigator. Help me find that maverick before he fulfills his plan. Well, we don't need to get any further. Next stop is the gateway. Sigma detected at supply relay point. Investigate. And this time around, we're doing things differently. We're bringing Zero, and we're bringing an Axel. Here I come. Layer, that's your cue. I'll give it a shot. Ready. There's definitely something evil in here. It must be Sigma. Everybody be careful. Sorry. It's just that I'm still a bit... Yeah, I got a cold. But I guess that's what happens when the changing temperatures come about and I don't prepare myself accordingly. But look what we gotta deal with. Isn't this familiar? Yup. Rematch. First stop, Gravity Antonian. What's wrong? I'm now strong enough now to deal with you. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about knockback. And I think this is where he enters into his overdrive state.
I am surprised I actually did a bit better. Ow. Okay, so what would he... Oh yeah, he's weak to the Black Arrow. And it mostly just homes in. But surprisingly enough, you can pretty much do this trick and simply slow down your descent. Yeah, it works. But then that's when you realize that the Mavericks we're we'll fighting here are pretty much copies. This just really ain't my day. Okay, who's next? Earthrock Trilobite. And yeah, if I had X, he's weak to the squeeze bomb. Me? I'm bringing in the Ray Magnum. Yeah, not even that's gonna help you out one bit. Look at that. Not working. Seriously, are you even trying, dude? Okay, here come the overdrive part. Okay. No. Oh, so now he moves to the other side, huh? Ah, great, not again. This guy's not even trying. Go to right instead of that. Knew it was a fake. And now we move on to this. No. There you go. Let's bring out the Ice Gatling. Seriously, I still can't understand why Burn Rooster can keep kicking it down. Sorry, dude. You're not gonna do anything. How pathetic. Oh jeez, now this is going to make the challenge a little harder. See what I mean? This isn't working for you, my friend. No, I'm serious. This is not working. I can just keep on moving up and down until you're beat. And now he decides to form flame towers. Ah, no. And yeah, normally if I didn't have most of these upgrades, that would have taken a lot more damage. Why did I do that? Yeah, there you go. That makes three down, three to go. But yeah, but for the next stage, I'm bringing Axel along for a very good reason. Turns out I learned that to reach the final area of the game, I'd rather, or rather get Axel's armor, 
Alright, no, no, no. Not better I said, son. Alright, let's see how I'll fare against Dark Mantis. Because it doesn't if that doesn't work, I'll bring Axel with the ray gun. I knew it. He's weak against this attack. I know you won't lose, my friend. We need you at full strength. And bring out the ray gun. Or I can just be a bit, a bit trigger happy. Oh boy. I still didn't get the double barrier for them. Nice. Zero's in trouble. And did it. Axel went down that quick. Natsu let down. That takes care of everything on the bottom side. Oh yeah, forgot about you. Oh, this one's gonna be heck. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Really? Now what? And he's bringing out the big guns. You won't lose, man. You do know I can always strike you from below, right? I'm still not at 100%. Oh, goody, now up this bamboo pandemonium. The first boss I ever fought. Why I ended up doing it? I don't know, maybe because I was a bit reckless. Oh yeah, he needs the flame burner. Thank god I can keep my distance. Oh my god, that was dumb. And that's for avenging my brother in arms.
Gigavolt Man of War. Oh, wow, well, I hated his level. I hit his level that much. Thankfully, him attacking with this is his weakness. Yeah, don't even bother. You're not even going to get a chance. Oh yeah, you also got to pay attention when the lightning strikes. If you have the crystal wall, you can pretty much use that as a lightning rod. Seriously, why do you even bother? No, why do you even bother knowing full well you're going to get wrecked? Hard. This is something I can never understand. I probably never will understand it. Go for it. And we're gonna need this for the for the last one, Avalanche Yeti. AKA the only other Maverick aside from Magma Dragoon who can do Shoryu Kens. Too bad he can't do Hadoukens. Yeah, an Ice Maverick weak against Electric. And yeah, right, Kosen. Oh boy! No, this isn't gonna work, pal. Yeah, does it hurt? Jeez. Not even worth the trouble. Emergency! Get out of there! Please make it back, okay? Sure thing, Lair. And now we gotta get out. I get out, we shall. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! We gotta move! And now everything is falling apart. Introducing the rapid dashing. That's not easy enough. But wait, it's not over. Not even close. Sigma, can't say I was looking forward to seeing you again. Zero, what a shame. You had the abilities and potential to become like me. You. You tried to use my DNA. I'll teach you what happens when you mess with me. I'm afraid not. The moon is under my control, and the plan is entering its final stage. The moment of the world's unraveling is upon us! Bring it on! All right, Sigma, you want a piece? Let's dance. Week, we'll see. Thank God, I'm thank God I can. Oh, wait, no. Dang, he still takes a lot of damage. This is your potential, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, deflect this. Yeah. 
Not done yet! And did it! Yeah, but what was he thinking when he decided to just blast the ground? You can only do that with X. And it turned out that the Sigma we fought was a fake. Dang it! Piece of cake. Got gotta do better than that. But now I gotta refill. Life bottle full? Check. Life charge? Check. We're all set. And let's add that spare energy to be safe. Yeah, this is what happens when I grind it so much. X is the only one at 100%, while everybody else? They're just missing one or two. Axel missing the double barrier. And same for zero and one other weapon. All right, let's move. I'm picking up multiple Maverick signals on the moon's surface. What is this? I think it's Sigma. How can you tell? I can sense it too. It's him. So you're saying that other was a copy? Seemed like it. Well, this is it. Sigma, I'm coming for you. Here we go, hunters. Let's move out. And now the final battle taking place on the moon itself. And you can also go back to the gateway at any time. But our true final battle happens in the moon at Sigma's palace. We'll be running the Icarus armor. And Axel will be coming with us. I'll handle it! Ready! This is India. Can you hear me, everyone? Great, so Sigma's blocking our signal, and it seems that the palace itself is calling. No matter. We'll just have to blast our way through all these enemies. I still can't believe that shot actually stopped me in my tracks. Guys ain't even trying. I wonder who else wants to play with me. Let's switch. I'll take care of it. <laughs> so, you still refuse to give up your struggle, huh? Are you so blind that you've somehow convinced yourself that hope remains? If all I have to do is defeat you, then I'm full of hope, Bus. <laughs> I suppose it'd be a waste to just destroy you now. Maybe I'll wait till the last possible moment and have a little fun with this. File? This guy don't know what to give! Now I'm gonna knock your socks off this time. This guy gets on my nerves for too long. My strategy with this is this. Have X take the brunt of the damage since he has the Icarus armor, and then you can just switch to Axel and heal up afterwards. It's a rather ingenious strategy. Okay, Switch. And it repeats. Can't escape, huh? We'll see. Oh, 
Oh boy, not good. Didn't want to waste it, but I have to. And maybe this time? Please don't ever come back, Vile! God, how annoying. Yeah. Well, that about wraps that up. Yeah, let's go. Sigma's waiting. What? <laughs> Seriously, Vile doesn't know when to quit. Yeah, this only happens if you're playing the game on hard. When that happens, guess what? You're pretty much, like, screwed more ways than one. Oh boy. Fine, I'll just face him like a real man. And it's here where things get a little tough for us. Alright. That did it. Fully refilled. And we're set. Makes me wish I had that second life tank. That would have actually helped me out. Oh boy. That drained his shield. Nice. And thank God for the hover. Rain. That was pretty simple. You're not even gonna get that chance, trust me. And now it's time for us to reach the very end. Sigma's waiting for us. And believe me, I wanna make sure I see this through to its conclusion. Warning! Warning! Hmm. So you must be the one they call Axel. The prototype of the new Reploids. I'm surprised you've made it this far. Hey, stop calling me a prototype. I'm me. And you? You're a maverick. You are a puny and weak prototype. Nothing more. Your copy ability is far from developed. That's why you were left out. The Mavericks are one club I'd prefer to be left out of. Only the pure, new generation Reploids, my children, are worthy. Your children? Yes, prototype. My children. The new generation Reploids, born of the Jacob Project, all bear copy chips containing my personal data. And now, the final phase of that project begins! You shall be destroyed! Bring it on! Bring it on indeed, my friend. Let's dance.
Oh boy. Wallow in despair and hopelessness. The plan to destroy the world you so love is finally coming to fruition. I shed no tears for you and your kind. <laughs> it will all be over soon. If I give up now, all my efforts would be wasted. I refuse to give up. Here we go! <laughs> Axel, are you okay? X, so you made it too. There's no time to lose. Let's finish this! <laughs> What's this? Your friends arrived, eh? No matter. You are powerless in the face of the ruler of the new world. Powerless! Do you want to bet? Bring it on, Sigma! Really, you want to think that way? We'll see. Yep, his attacks get a lot harder. How could you? You couldn't destroy the old world. No age. Well, so much for that, Sigma. You may be annoying, but jeez. Are you okay? Am I okay? Of course. Now that you've defeated Sigma, I suppose you're satisfied. Thanks to you, the plan has gone smoothly. But Lumine, weren't you just used by Sigma? Used? I don't think so. You see, he merely helped my plan along. The new generation reploids have been awakened, and the new world is at hand! <laughs> well, 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 who'd have thought I'd be contending with this? Lumine, the true final boss of this. And yep, he's using many of the attacks that were seen in the pre in from the Mavericks. Having assumed the powers of all the Mavericks. Of all eight Mavericks. Really? You're gonna use this? How about I taste out a plasma gun? Dark Mantis? Dark Mantis? Really? Gravity Antonian? Seriously, what's going on? 
Burn Rooster. And now he's make she's making sure I get no advantage. Bamboo Pandemonium. Come on, got her. Okay, that was only phase one, but now here comes phase two. Lumine, what are you doing? Don't tell me you've gone Maverick too. Maverick? You don't really think that's the case, do you? That's why you can't finish me off, right? You don't have it in you. Copy chips we new generation reploids possess? They were derived from data from hundreds of old model reploids. That means, of course, that Sigma was also included in the mix. Do you understand what I'm getting at here? Copy chip? Sigma? Does that mean that I'll go nuts like he did? Sorry, but prototypes like you don't have the specs to cause something like that. Besides, was Sigma really crazy? He rebelled against your world. But he had his reasons. The rest of us new Reploids could turn like that at any moment. This decision to wage battle against the old world was made consciously. In other words, we possess the power to go maverick at will. <laughs> Do you really have what it takes to stop us? You're merely tools of the humans, tools of the old world. You think you can stand up to those of us who have evolved this far? <laughs> the world is changing. Therefore, it's only natural that evolution take its course. Now line up to be exterminated. Don't let him get to you, X. He's the enemy. Enemy? Ally? This issue isn't so black and white. Reploids, along with humanity, have irrevocably changed. The nature of their existence has also changed. You are not needed in our new world. Babble all you want. But we're not gonna let you get away with this. And thus, Lumine now reaches its final form. So it turns out that the new generation Reploids can go Maverick of their own accord. What does this remind me of? The events of Maverick Hunter X, the Day of Sigma, when Sigma decided to go Maverick on his own. Not because he wanted to. And yeah, this final boss is gonna be a doozy. Yeah, that charge isn't going to work.
Oh, what does this remind me of? Oh yeah, the fight with the Radiance! Okay, now what am I gonna do? Oh right, now I can switch. I need Axel alive. I'm always just nervous just thinking about all this. Come on. It's not over yet! Paradise loss. Yep, this is also in hard. Yep, you need a multi charge. And if I don't do something fast, I am screwed. No! And this is what happens when you die. Yeah, you actually get to see it, and I'm only showing this because I need Axel alive! And the good news is, I can start again from the final phase. Or rather, phase one. Which is good! Which means I have to use every single weapon in my disposal to be your down. Oh uh, yeah, which weapon was this one? No, no, no. No, it's not the the squeeze bomb. Okay, what's next on her list? Avalanche Yeti, Thunder Dancer. This one's of the... Come on! This one requires the Ice Gatling. Green Spinner! I'm not worried about X1 Vip because his armor can absorb the damage as red energy. But thing is, about this fight... And this one, Mel Creeper. Crystal Wall!
Thank God I have that. Better switch back to the... And done. Now it's going to begin the second phase of this entire thing. And yeah, you guys have seen it already. Let's just get to the part where we kick butt. I'm reminded of Sephiroth with this. Jeez, Luminate takes it one step further. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you have to deal at least enough damage there. No, that wasn't so hard. Yep, she's changing up her plan. This is why I love Axel that much. Okay, time to get you back in the front lines. Yeah, but you can only deal a certain amount of damage at a time before that happens. And now comes the true, and now comes the true test. I'm letting Axel deliver the final blow, it don't really matter. And that is that. There's a reason I want him to get the final blow in, because he can unlock a special white armor. Jeez, what a fight. Unbelievable. You may have defeated me, but it's too late to stop what's already begun. I'll take on plenty more like you if that's what it takes. <laughs> you really don't have a grasp of the situation, do you? Oh well. You'll find out soon enough. Report. This is X. Axel... Axel has taken damage, but he's fine. We're headed back now.
I bet you've been thinking about what Lumine was saying a while ago. Well, don't let it get to you. Just becoming Sigma could hardly be called evolution. Anyway, X. Even if we Reploids are destined to join the Scrap Heap when that evolutionary step does come about, we still have to fight, not only against Mavericks, but against our own destiny as well. What Zero says actually has a valid point. And thus, that is Mega Man X8, Paradise Lost. And right away you can actually see the voice actors, and boy they are a big improvement compared to the ones we got in X7, like Mark Gaffa, Luke Gis Gilbertson, Jeffrey Watson, Eleanor Holt, Dave Pettit, Marriott Sleever, Sleever, Meredith Taylor Perry, Chris Sims, Roger Rhodes, Jonathan Love, Randall Weeb, and Tommy James. That's some better voice acting if I do say so myself. But yeah, my honest thoughts on X8 is that this game is very underrated. It is a very underrated Mega Man X game. And it's easy to see why considering that, yes, Mega Man X8 has... It is fun! It is way better than X7, but not a lot of people got to play it. And sadly, this would be the last main Mega Man X game until Mega Man X Command Mission that would be released a year later. And Mega Man X Command Mission is more of an RPG game than anything else. But you guys all know what's going to happen next after that. It will eventually lead to the Zero series, and the Zero series... Oh boy, that's going to be another topic onto itself, trust me on that, for sure. But anyway, yeah, Mega Man X8 is really a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. And the only reason why I did it on hard is because the game really does offer a lot more on hard. Not to mention a lot of twists and turns that really do surprise you. They really do, it's just that good. But surprisingly enough, it actually came first in the United States, then in Japan as Rockman X8 with an impressive yet awesome theme, Wild Fang. Wild Fang is a really fun song, I recommend you give it a listen when you get a chance. But yeah, what's gonna happen next is pretty simple. The X Challenge Volume 2, and then I'm finally done for good. And I'll be done with the X series, and then I will move on to the Mega Man Legacy Collection. But you guys know that I still also have to do Octopath Traveler, and then there are many other games that come suit. This is not going to be easy for me to say it, but yeah, things are going to get rather rough. All I hope is that you guys bear with me on it. I really do. I will let you guys enjoy the credits, which surprisingly for X Legacy Collection 2, I think they kind of changed it. Because if you're playing it on the original Japanese version, you'd be listening to Wild Fang, and it's a really fun song. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. And yes, the Ocean Group. I haven't heard these guys since they did the original, did Dragon Ball Z years back. Nowadays, Funimation takes over. But anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. All this helps me out big time, it really does. And it will also give me a reason to keep on going in spite of everything. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you in the X Challenge, Volume 2. When news of Luminae's going Maverick reached the ears of those in power, it was decided that all new generation Reploids with copy abilities still in production would be cancelled, and the manufacture and use of copy chips would be terminated. However, with the development of space in full swing, the demand for these advanced new gen Reploids had not dwindled. Years later, production and copy chips once again resumed, despite the advice of those who had studied their history. That's going to lead into the Zero series. 
Humans and robots living together in harmony and equality. That was my ultimate wish. Dr. Thomas Light. Thank you.